Kufunye na beke yenche na Bob Brisky Waye be mo un Enu wa suwa sansu yu oba Inti si ya ye kase no e, Waye no hon oba Enu wa tiki ye alata ho Bob Brisky Ya chini kushimu Na very dark black man Abe post video bi A wana mo hon se Ah mi se Afrika no Ya storage no Dewi si tiye no Ubi ya ansa mo ni ubi ya trim Bob Brisky ni ya chini ni ya si Enfani kushimu prison Se wa nku prison Odi wa babo ntia Na onu wakasa e kachere e yenko ufu binu a wane omu din komo lawyers mi bile din e bim judges din e bim timse sa anko ufu anu trumu diye bayo omu depa sebe omu din e pie pie mwa bo briski ati omu to e se onu wanko prison ni mu mi e hain apartment e man yesu o nishi mwisa asire bayo awo nyase mtu lo nishi apartment wo nitu du tam mwa obes na koko otwa na eja ya dina sheke mwa obes ne koni adi alibeto sha apartment eni wo jine ni koret pa ase mi ba bon tin tru e ye very dark black man vdm Ene de babo nti. Nwa de babo nti wye treti me bire abano suma si si ye kase yi. Lawyers ne jeje so omudi ni pi yu musu omudi ni koko oto. E yese nko omudi bobo riski na yeko no. Omudi abranti ni mumu na yeko. Anyway, ye nko tiye ase mwa very dark black man. E dibe tuja abra. Unya odi yu no. Se ya manfo mumra mi tiye yi. Se ye bobo riski wa nko nko demu o selsu. Ne mumu na owa apartment. Ina gave me 8 million a. Be, ye ta wali sari sentence in here. Yeah. I was even shocked that I can send I called the Mola. The Mola in New York. He made my friend too. Mm -hmm. The Mola sent to one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust, and start making call because I, I don't know who set me up. You know, I was on my way to the prison, then my godfather called me and said, You will not enter that prison, don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. That is going to call the um, is going to call the controller in my that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja and I'm talk to them. They shall talk before I come back, shall they now took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's that the um, that Oga, the Oga said they should that. come out. The Oga said they should come and keep me here. In respect to Bobriski, what I'm about to post now. Um, a lot of names will be mentioned. Um, these are people that I also respect, and I believe a lot of Nigerians respect them as well. I am very, very disappointed in the agencies that are involved in this. And um, I believe that this call recording that I'm about to play, even Bob Risky will not expect it. <laughs> that is what is crazy. But all the people that will be mentioned, I don't care. You understand? I don't care. And from today, no longer respect for all of you. You understand because all of them are the same and it's pretty obvious that in nigeria the law only work against the poor people do you understand now after this video i would expect that the efcc would do a deep investigation on everybody that is involved in this case and also they will bring the whole officers that participated in this and collected and spent this money that is involved thank you very much so i will start by playing um the call as you can see it is a call listen you know, I'm a very big influencer. I have over five million followers on my Instagram. So, my Facebook, and they're paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So, I'm okay. So, they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy a house of 450 million around Pinock. And we are staying in a Chevron. Blah 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 blah. The shah put the money laundry shah. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said we should go and bring 15 million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. Now, this is one part of the video. A lot of things will be unveiled. First things first, you heard it from Bobriski. Um, EFCC charged them, charged him 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge that was charged against him. If you remember when this case against Bobriski starts, there was a money laundry charge, but from nowhere they removed, they dropped the money laundry charge. So obviously, Bobriski paid EFCC 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge. It's crazy that EFCC claim that they are fighting against financial crime. Do you understand? But they are deeply involved in financial crime. So they remove the money laundry. Anyways, let's continue. There's a lot of things in this um, call recording. 
talk to my friend. I called my friend, you know, because I can't use my account. I wanted to send money to from my account, but they said I'm still under investigation. I cannot withdraw from my account. So I now called a few of my friends. You know Polanco, LLA? Mm-hmm. That Polanco, yeah, is my very good friend. So I called him. I told him. I was like, ah, no, I can't want to send the whole I can't want to send the whole He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent eight million. Uh, we he can only say send the same year. Yeah. I was even shocked sure that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, uh Omo Gideon or Shaman Peg, a very nice person. So I called the Mola, the Mola in New York. He knows my friend too. Mm-hmm. The Mola sent to one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. I feel the Mola sent me one million yeah, the Mola sent me one million naira immediately. Transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who set me up. So let me not start calling the the wrong people. Do you understand? Uh, so I called the people I trust. So the, the money share complete fifteen and I paid. Then I removed money laundry. Then I took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that. The- so you heard him. After I paid the money to EFCC, EFCC remove money laundry and they now removed that charge and took him for spraying money do you understand so efcc you people collect money to drop charges this is crazy and these are the people that want to fight for financial crack tomorrow now you're going to tell us you are arrest ayabelu are we sure that if you arrest him you will not collect money for dropping charges wow efcc this is crazy but anyways it doesn't end here let's continue the old things the old things started from the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, Abby? That they gave me best female dress. Yes, that's yes, when the yes, old I things. Did. Sta- yeah, yeah, that's when the old things started from. You know, jealousy, everything. Mm, envy. So mm. we shall, we shall have got to court. I shall have told them that I'm guilty. That ah, maybe because we even pity me or say, oh yeah, pay fine. I know. Or or community service. Sadly, the court sentenced me. So. You know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me and said, "You will not enter that prison. Don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. That is going to call the um, is going to call the controller in my that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja, and I'm talk to them. They shall talk before I come back. Shall they not took me to one apartment that I must not come out till." I finish my sentence. That the um, that Oga, the Oga said she come out. The Oga said she come and keep me here. That I mustn't um I mustn't go like enter data, but nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. No. So they said the guy will call him money. Do you want to give them seven? Wait, 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 wait. Who is this Bob Risky's godfather? that called the controller general of prison in abuja and instructed him that he should not let bobriski to enter prison and the controller general of prison now gave bobriski an apartment outside the prison do you understand an apartment outside the prison that he should act he should stay there and he will not enter the prison so bobriski didn't go to prison obviously basically the prison obviously is for the poor men and for the poor masses so this is how the EFCC come and lie to us. Say they don't prove somebody. They don't arrest one big man for financial crime. But they go no go arrest the man. They no go sentence him. They'll carry him. Go give him one law somewhere. And he no go enter prison. This is what is going, going on in Nigeria. Do you understand? The law is only against the common and the poor man. Now the poor man, they go prison. But Bobriski, one godfather somewhere. That godfather, he go come out. And the controller of prisons. The controller general of prisons. You have to come out and defend this. If not, Mia, we continue rubbishing your name online, the Controller General of Prisons. So, this is how they call you to remove prisoners, eh? After the court have sentenced the prisoner, you will remove them. But that's not all. Let's continue. Like millionaire, I had to call Elie again because there's nobody for me to call. Elie gave me, uh, give me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now, the 
So I'm supposed to come out in, um, I'm supposed to come out in, what's it called? Ending of July, next month. Okay. 29th. Bad guy. His father is a, a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said, we can apply for pardon. Okay. The pardon, the president, because you know it's... Wait, Faust the bad guy. I can't even believe this. Faust the bad guy contacted Bob Risky. And Femi Falano contacted his father. And his father, Femi Falano, spoke to Bob Risky in order to divert justice. And this same Faust, if this story is true, this same Faust will have the audacity to come out and say he's fighting against the government for oppression. That he want justice, he want Nigeria to be better. So that like this, you did carry yourself. I don't even want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano will be Fela lawyer, where we respect. Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this. Wait, 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 what is the relationship between Faust and Bobriski? I be Faust said they do. Oh, okay. Who are we to crucify the homosexual? Most of them are done, they evolve from time. Everybody is a motherfucking hypocrite, though. No, oh, now that song, they make sense to me. Wait, I be Faust said they do. This is crazy. Well, anyways, <laughs> let's continue. Hey, now, wow. Nigeria. It's mm -hmm. federal that uh, my 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 case is federal. That's so that the federal can actually pardon me. That's the president that he can do it. That if they, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay. So the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, minister, minister of justice in Abuja. So Minister of Justice will now send it to President to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything, you take it fast to him. That the man, the lawyer said they will collect 10 million naira for him to get. That that pardon will clear my name off the record. Of the record, which is not yes. bad. That which exactly. So... You know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends, so, but, you know, you don't know who set you up, you know, and they've not opened my account. All right, so based on this first voice notes, based on Bobriski's narration in this uh, phone call, Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected 10 million naira in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow. These are people I respected. These are people I look up to. Faust the bad guy always talking about yeah I'm speaking up for the people so you are also involved in things like this it's really really disappointing it's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon it's obvious say Nigeria no I have lost 100% respect respect for this unless if they come and come defend this one saying a lie but for now uh, we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth because Bobriski said all these things like he contacted uh, somebody to borrow him money and the person recorded everything now uh, just in case Bob Risky go on argue let me drop your number uh, this is your number eh? now why so this is your number your number ends with uh, 2208 that's what your number ends with so this is you actually you cannot deny anything so EFCC I will expect you people to bring to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the doormat of justice if you know you truly fight against financial crime and this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody and it's really crazy and the controller general of prison i don't know i don't know what it they happen but it's almost as if yes i want to know the godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them Instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him a lodge outside the prison. I don't know that it's allowed. I didn't know that was allowed. But anyways, there are more videos to come. Do you understand? This is just part one. First. Part one. We'll see where part two they be. Don't play. <laughs> you gotta learn. And you will learn the hard way. I don't care. Don't play. Okay. It is on this side, I hear conversation with two about ten. And no more, we deal with lawyers, no judges, no one who have formed the woman's massa.
ya lower court court ya beti watu because asemu awo ka no eni kwa so bo edi no se ah na se me dey audio e bo brisk na e audio ana e liki ababo nti na e di ati ana ye hu se se wan kwa demo prison na emu mu no oko apartment all right um so in respect to what files the bad guy posted a letter that says i should retract my statement and i should apologize um for defaming him um first of all before files posted that sean Kuti called me and he said i'm very dark man i just finished speaking with files the bad guy i want you to call him i'll send you his number i want you to call him so that you guys can talk you know and i said Egon, i don't want to talk to files then he said um no you need to hear what he wants to say, you know? And then um, I sent Files a message, we got on a call. And then when we got on a call, then he said he wasn't happy. Then I said, how far? Then he started talking, you know, I said, ah, he said, he was started talking about defamation, that he wasn't happy. Then I said, Files, I thought you're calling me to tell me your own side of the story so that I will know what's up, you know? But um, I don't understand what's going on now. So at the point in the conversation, I felt like Files was recording me. You know, and then I said, Faust, I feel like you're recording me. I feel like you're trying to get evidence for me or trying to make me say something so that you can hold me by my wrist, you know. And then when I said it, he could not defend that. You know, then he went on saying things like, um, since you know me on social media or my family, have you ever heard anything negative about myself or my father? I said, I have never heard anything negative about your father, Femi Falano. However, you yourself have heard something negative about you. Then he said, what have you heard about me? Then I said, uh, my bro. It is for my own consumption and not for me to tell you, you know. So it was almost as if he was trying to pick my brain to know what I know and the length of things that I know. Well, anyways, that's by the way. Then um, the whole conversation ended up with me telling Files that, thank God you are a lawyer, so you will not need to pay a lawyer to stand for you in court. But as for me, I did not defame you and I'm standing that I did not defame you. So I will see you in court. That's number one. Number two, I did not read what Faust posted until later. And then when I read what Faust posted, I said, wait a minute. Bob Risky is saying that the voice call was fake. And now Faust is confirming that Bob Risky, they actually had a call. You understand? The only difference is that he's saying that Bob Risky was the one that called him. Why Bob Risky is saying that his files that called him? Files is saying Bob Risky has seen for three million. Bob Risky is saying that Files said he should pay a lawyer with his father ten million naira. Do you understand? Now, what I expect Files to do instead of addressing that letter to me, I expected you to address that letter to Bob Risky, requesting that he should clear your name off that voice call and he should clear um, uh, Uncle Falano's name off that call, not you coming for me. Do you understand? I wasn't the one in the record. Do you understand? My reason for posting that is to expose corruption. The corruption that states that Bob Risky used his mouth to say that instead of taking him to prison, that he took him to a private lodge. That ESCC collected 15 million naira from him to drop an allegation and to drop a charges that said he laundered money. Do you understand? And inside all this thing is calling your name and you are sending a letter to me. I would expect you to send that letter to Bob Risky. Do you understand? To be very honest, I did not defame Faust and Uncle Femi Falano. Now, that's on the side. Now, as she stands like this, I am standing my ground to say, I still want to know what went down. Because going back to everything now, I saw there's a picture of Bobriski online where he carried luggage. You did go prison, you carry luggage. Secondly, who gave Bobriski a phone to make call inside prison? Because they don't lock me up. They remind me for Kujie prison now. I know say if you won't make call to your family, it will take you a process of telling one of the prison warden to say you won't make call. They'll bring you outside, they'll give you a phone. If you remember the number, fine and good. If you don't remember the number, turn you sabi. Then you cannot call the person you want to call. So how did Bob Risky get a phone to call files and he's requesting that files will give him three million? Again, another question is this which officer charged Bob Risky three million for VIP cell? We need to know. Do you understand? We need to know which officer charged Bob Risky 3 million. Because when they get all these amounts for, say they say they'll give us, they'll collect 10 million, may they claim name from the crime where he commits by a presidential pardon. You understand? So, my dear brother Faust, um, I did not defame you. And, and I will expect you to channel this energy to Bob Risky that called your name in that recording. And as for Bob Risky, um, like I said, I will post another recording from a totally different person entirely. Mind you, the first video I posted, I did not even post it complete. There are other side of the video. But I will post another one again today. I will post another one again today. Uh, yeah. I will post another one again today, confirming that this guy, man, through through no go prison. So, is it that prison is for us 
where we don't get people. It's prison for us, the poor masses. Hmm? It's prison for us, the people that don't have connection. Who, who is this Bobriski's godfather that also influenced the clearing of his uh, the clearing of his charges, his money laundry charges? So that is my question. Do you understand? It's pretty simple. I want to know what really happened, and I believe a lot of Nigerians want to know. That being said, some Nigerians I see comments like, is Bobriski the problem of the country? No, Bobriski is not the problem of the country. However, the stories and the corruption surrounding Bobriski is part of the problem of Nigeria. Do you understand? Now, just imagine. Imagine if it was a whistleblower that said the thing about the money laundry. Do you understand? And tomorrow now, you can't release the person, or you go put down for one lodge. That person where you put for lodge now can't orchestrate, can't plan the buying of the person where do we to blow in. Do you understand? They cannot investigate the person that is inside prison again now. They go say, ah, this one, they prison. That means another person, do They don't know, say the person, they outside. This thing is very deep, but you all don't understand. It's not about Bob Brisk, it's about the corruption. Tomorrow now you go carry a habelu. Do you understand? So what if your habelu pays and drops his charges and we think he's in prison? So how do you imprison politicians when they do wrong if the normal average people are paying to remove charges and are paying to stay in an apartment instead of a prison? Nigerians want to get to my brain. Anyways, you all better don't play, else you're gonna learn. And you all learn the hard way. Peace. It was not about one thing is I've been replying Now, when na in the part or what apartment one na on any chat. Kim Kumuni pa on any panel chat. What apartment one wo Adam Fubi on the chat here? And was we the no on support of very dark black man. But the same way, I ain't because I am pa. Number of risky no on the moon, I was sell CBA. Name was your apartment. I walked the general. I'm saying, ah, Africa. <laughs> Bobriski was chilling in an apartment and when Bobriski was in that apartment he was chatting with me you all know that I never support very dark black man but on this case I am backing very dark man up Bobriski was never in prison as a matter of fact you all know that I've been supporting Bobriski I defended him when very dark black man called him out as G-A-Y When very dark black man called him a transgender and older I came out, I defended him because I do not like seeing people oppressed Irrespective of their sexuality But you know what? But Brisky is an ungrateful person He doesn't keep to his words But Brisky never compensated me for everything I did for him on social media I defended him a couple of times and you guys know that he's an ungrateful person and I'm here with proof he never ever went to prison check out the voice notes but Brisky sent me when he was in an apartment chilling like a villain hi good morning how are you see I, I'm really grateful I'm really really grateful God bless you I see everything you do I see all your posts. People have been telling me, or this guy has been saying good things about you, has been posting you. Thank you so much. I'm fine. Like, I'm very, very fine. So don't be worried. Don't, um, don't be stressed. I'm really fine. Don't worry. I'll tell you some things probably when I'm, when uh, I'm in position to explain to you better. I would explain uh, everything to you, you know, but I'm very fine. Like, I'm very, very fine, so I'm okay. <laughs> I know people are, people are scared, they're worried. Oh, but this kid's in the prison, but this kid's this. <laughs> I'm very okay. I'm fine. Um, thank you so much. Thank you one more time for everything you've been doing. God bless you. Uh, it's so sad that um, I was asked not to post anything. If not, I would have reposted all your videos and I will post everything. I appreciate you, but immediately when it is time for me to do that, that will be the first thing I'm going to do. Thank you and have a wonderful day. You're a star and nothing will stop your shine, trust me. All these people saying rubbish on the internet, they're not rich now. They're not rich. They're just online blabbing. Blabbing. Internet warriors, keypad warriors. Keep living, keep doing your thing. God got you. I'm happy you are fine. That's the voice of Bobriski and myself conversing in a voice note. Bobriski said to me that I shouldn't worry 
that a lot of people are thinking he's in prison, but he's not. But Brisky never ever went to prison. Him coming out to say that Very Dark Man lied and saying that the voice in that voice note Very Dark Man played wasn't his. It's a big joke. That was Bob Risky speaking to someone. You can also compare that voice note played by Very Dark Man and this voice note are played and you will tell that it was Bob Risky. Bob Risky was never ever in prison. And trust me, Bob Risky took that 4 million naira from that guy and didn't want to refund him because Bob Risky does not keep to his words. Bob Risky was meant to compensate me for defending him online, but he never did. That's to show you that Bobrisky never ever keeps to his words. Bobrisky is a manipulator. Bobrisky is not a sincere person. And if you ever want to do business with Bobrisky, be careful because he is not reliable. I've got another evidence of Bobrisky being in an apartment and I'm going to play it now with the chats he sent to me that period as well. Check it out guys, that's Bob Risky chilling in an apartment when we thought he was in prison. That was why he came out with so many pictures because basically he was just there chilling and going to the studio to take pictures to pepper us when he comes out. But he was never in prison. That was why Bob Risky had a lot of pictures to post when he came out. Bob Risky had 15 million naira to spend on cake. He spent a lot of money on doing his party when he came out, but he never kept to his words. He never compensated me. That shows he is not a reliable person. But Brisky was chilling in an apartment. He never ever went to prison. I applaud very dark black man for covering this and I am backing him up on this. I am saying it categorically that Bob Risky never went to prison. I'm an OG, that's why I'm saying this to you. After watching this video, I have learned how to keep silence. Not everything that you see or happen to you that you share with your friend. Honestly, I know Bob Risky trusted this guy, but now look at what is happening. Or more, eh? Learn to keep your mouth shut, like learn to keep secrets to yourself sometimes. It's not good to open up, it's good to have it on you. Do you understand? And now look at what is happening. Please, guys, share this video for more people to see online. Please don't forget it's your girl or some touching on it. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, it's a party. You may be a kid to be an affair. I'm so many very dark black man. Echo court. All right, um, so I'm just waking up now and then I open my Instagram. The first thing I saw is a post on Gossip Mill from Femi Falano's daughter, Foul Sister, where she said, Seeing you have refused to do the needful, see you in court. My dad, Femi Falano, never met Bobrisky. We don't need his money. Bobrisky only called my brother Faust to beg for to beg him for money to be moved to VIP cell. My sister, this thing you just posted now is what would have been posted earlier, so that we can all join hand and face the corruption that was revealed. You understand? It's amazing how people went from corruption and people are coming for me that exposed the corruption. You understand? It's just crazy, you know? A recording that exposed a lot of atrocities that might have been going on for a long time, that was just discovered. Do you understand? Imagine Bob Risky on a call saying that he paid 15 million naira to EFCC to drop the money laundry charges. That is a big, that is, that should be disturbing to all Nigerians for crying out loud. Imagine Bob Risky saying that instead of taking him to the prison, one godfather called that they should give him an apartment outside the prison. That is disturbing and worrisome. You understand? To think that some people that we thought were persecuted are the they are outside chilling. You understand? To think, are you people even understanding the problem that inside that thing that was released? But instead of us joining out to fight this corruption against these agents or this agency that have partook in a corruption, Everybody's going, you are coming for me. You understand? Because he said, okay, uh, your father's name was mentioned. Was your father's name not in the recording? Let me choke Femi Falano's name for the recording. Let me choke Fao's name for the recording. You understand? The only thing I said, I said, if their name, if this turns out to be true, I will not have any more respect for them. You understand? If, and I even went on to say that I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe. We said, I talk where did you? Next thing, files go drop a uh, letter. Say, if I know retract, retract what? Now, me put your name there. What did I say there? You understand? Now, you say you want to take me to court. There's no problem. There's no problem. Ah, yes, give or take. If it's too bad, 
you lock me off for, for six months. If it's too bad, so if you lock me off for one year, you understand? I don't know what you people wanted. You people wanted me to play the voice note and remove Uncle Femi Fala lost name and fast name. What kind of human being would I be? You understand? Which kind of justice I'll say I won't find? Not say even the person where people will be saying I like their name no good did Who am I? I am not an hypocrite. You understand? Nigerians, let me even tell you what is funny. You see, since I came on this social media, see, I have an option to make millions of naira and go and sit down. I for don't make 500 million, over 500 million, and I for the chill. You understand? But I sacrifice all those things because I know that there are people that are being oppressed. And I decide to use my platform to speak up on, for those people. Since I came on social media, you know how many people my voice don't help? You know millions of naira when I don't collect for, on social media for people? You know millions of naira when I don't collect behind social media for people? This case now when make I post this record in Seoul, the guy borrowed Bobriski 4 million naira. He sweats. He give Bobriski. So it's time for Bobriski to pay him back. Bobriski start to return the guy. To the point where he say, oh yeah, pay me back my money. After Bobriski say, go pay in September. Bobriski say, eh, oh yeah, now if you go out, tell people, say me and you kiss me and you smoosh. I asked the guy thoroughly, the guy saying, swear to God, he never thought Bobriski for in life. That because Bobriski knows, say people know they like a gay thing. Bobriski won't rob something on him, but he said, I know if you collect him money. Then I step up. Asked him, say which evidence you get. He said, God so kind, he was recording everything because in the future, Bobriski go one cheat him. And that was the record that I posted. And Bobriski, um, it was when Bobriski was asking him for that money, Bobriski said all those things. So, when it come in my own now, instead of us to join and, and follow the corrupt people that are spoiling Nigeria, you know, they come for me, say, because Nami post time. Eh? Because Nami post time. Tomorrow, now you come and say, eh, you fight, you fight for human rights. Tomorrow, you come and say, you are fighting for human rights. You understand? But I don't care. If eventually, if at the end of the day, you not throw me in that cell, there's no problem. I swear to God, I am not bothered. You understand? I respect Uncle Femi Falano and I still respect him. What you people would have done was to remove his name from me. But you people did not even address Bobriski. You did not say anything about Bobriski. Bobriski, at the end of the day, you people actually got on a call together. When I don't move on now to very dark man court case, focus on the thing that really happened. But no, when I come for very dark man, there's no problem. Oh. There's no problem. Like I said, push come to shove, you locked me for six months. Push come to shove. It can never be more than six months. Or oh, ISF, when I say make I pay fine, or oh, now sue me for one big money, do you understand? Then I go start to pay for my own capacity. If you sue me one billion naira now, and the courts by uh, my lawyer maybe bargain, maybe when I end up for 100 million, I they pay one, one million every month, do you understand? Or I go to pay for 500,000 every month, or I will pay to 200,000 every month, depends on what my, my work give me in a month. I don't have a problem, I go pay. If when I decide to say now, I won't turn the case, go, I don't have a problem, I will pay. But I will not. Come back and come and say uh, this thing because of fear. I fear nobody. Not only God, I fear. You understand? Uncle Femi Falano, I never defamed you. Far as the bad guy, I never defamed you. But if people say that is what it is, there's no wahala. But Brisky go scot free. You understand? Eh, may they go scot free now. But like I said, me, I will always talk. If you like, lock me one million times. If I come out, I stage carry my camera and I speak the truth that I know that is the truth. It can't be more than that. And I will continue speaking up for people. That's what I do. I've signed up for it. I'm gonna go lock me up a bit. No problem. Peace and love. My sister, I will see you in court. Thank you very much. And don't play. If you play, you gonna learn. And you will learn the hard way. Peace and love. See you in court. Bye. Ni abushi asem ne da hono. Ah, baba wa za branti u sister, sister brother, Bob Risky. Wa unko dem ewo prison. No sa apartment. Hey.